you absolutely do not want to know how many times I have had to refilm this video. The enemy is working against me today, so here we are. We're doing it. <laughs> so hello you guys again. I hope you are doing so, so well. I just wanted a real, just raw sit down video. Here I am. We didn't do our makeup or anything today, but I thought I could just have a real moment with you guys. I could talk to you guys and just have a great time, but happy Sunday. So I thought we could talk about starting a Bible study with your friends or doing a Bible study with others. Partially because this is one of my most viewed videos, my faith-based videos on my channel. So I thought it would be good to bring one back to update it, to talk about it again. So here we are. And I'm excited for you guys to start to learn about Jesus together and have that fellowship. But if you're new, hello, my name is Peyton. I'm so, so happy you're here. I don't always look like this. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But if you'd like to join the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Okay, so how to start a Bible study with your friends. So whether you have nobody in mind or you have one person you want to do it with or 10 people you want to do it with, that's great you're off to a great start. So I would say you don't need anything planned. You know you want to do a Bible study with others. Now send out the invites to anyone and everyone. But once you send out the invites, you have the time, you have the place, whether it's Zoom or in person, at a coffee shop, at your house, whatever you want to do, there you go. You did it. Amazing. You started it. People are there. Now what the heck do you do next? You have no idea what topic you should do. You have no idea what book of the Bible you should do. That is okay. Here's the fun part. When you get everyone together, ask them these few questions. So first of all, let's ask them, what book of the Bible have you always wanted to read and study? Ask them, what is God teaching you right now? Ask them, what are you struggling with right now? If you guys can reflect on those three questions, you can get a feel of everybody's spiritual life, you can get an idea of everyone's relationship with Jesus, what they're going through right now, what seasons they're in, and it can really, really help you figure out just kind of what topic you should read, what book of the Bible you should read. Okay, great. So you have your topic, you know kind of the theme of this next study that you're going to do. Now, what book of the Bible do you read? Well, let me tell you. So now's the time for you to kind of do some research, whether it's you're just going to read a book in the Bible raw and you're going to go through it together or whether you want to buy a guided study that you guys can do together. You can figure that out. But I would kind of do some research, maybe look up the best book of the Bible to read about anxiety or fear or book of the Bible to read for communicating with God or hearing God better. So kind of do some research and see what people in the Bible are experiencing, what you're experiencing, or, or just like themes and stuff in the Bible, and you can kind of figure out what book to read. And after you do that, you were just dandy and you are ready to go. And you did it. And you started a Bible study. And that's really, I mean, that's, that's kind of all there is to it. The other thing is you can make it as structured as you want or as go with the flow as you want. And I think there's something beautiful with go with the flow because you never know when vulnerability is going to come and you never want to force vulnerability and you never want to block out vulnerability. So some of the Bible studies I've been in, sometimes we didn't even get to the study portion or the questions because we were talking about our weeks or we were talking about what we were going through right now or we needed help and advice and things like that. So when you kind of leave it open and you leave the floor open for people to speak and for others to listen and to, for others to help each other and pray over each other, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So sometimes we'd get to the questions, sometimes we wouldn't, and that's okay. And I think it's really cool to leave it open like that and you can have people read the chapter or the book ahead of time before the meeting or you can read it together in the meeting. You can literally do whatever you want. Keep God at the center of the study and you're really good to go. Pray over the study, maybe pray over the group before you get started and kind of just let God lead you guys. Maybe there's days where you can 
kind of bring in your hab your you can bring in your favorite hobbies you can share your favorite worship songs right now you guys can have a playlist together maybe you have like a cool thing you do in the beginning of your bible studies where you all listen to worship together there is endless possibilities of what you can do and i think you should just be proud that you started it that you are with fellowship with one friend or ten friends however many and i think like, just don't overthink it. Have fun. Keep the Lord in the center and you'll have the best time ever, okay? And if you guys ever need help, I've been a part of many Bible studies. I have led Bible studies. So if you guys ever need help or guidance or whatever, you can obviously message me on any of my social media platforms and I will do my best to answer. But I love you guys. Good luck with your Bible studies. You're going to have so much fun. And I will see all of your beautiful faces maybe Friday, maybe Sunday. Guess you'll find out. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>